This building, we also did an assessment, has lots of deficiencies. Uh, basically, uh, this, the roof here, don't worry, it's not gonna cave in, but during the winter time, the roof trusses are overstressed. We've got a dilapidated interior building. We have lack of ADA access into this building, which is a no-no. Poor insulation, poor ventilation, insufficient power, outdated lighting, and so we are just going to completely uh, redo this. And you can see the photos uh, in your in your program. And uh, the other thing, uh, the reason of why, is that we have an outstanding board of directors uh, that really uh, wants to do things in a really important way. And we talked to them about this building. Instead of them saying, well, just do the minimum, they said, no, we are going to make a statement. This GA terminal building is the front door to world-class tourism and lots of stuff, and we're gonna make a statement, and we're gonna spend the money to do it right. Uh, let me give you a little history of the building that we're in, um, so that you can have a little bit of background. So this terminal uh, was constructed in 1956, and it represents kind of very uh, unique characteristics and methods of construction. Uh, during uh, this time, and so it qualifies to be on the National Register of Historic Places, and we've elected to uh, honor that and do an adaptive reuse. When this is done, this GA terminal building is going to be spectacular. There's going to be a front desk greeting area. There's a beautiful public waiting area that's going to be in here, a separate pilot's lounge, ADA restrooms, ADA locker rooms, shower, quiet rooms for pilots that need sleep, conference rooms, and FB operations uh, and offices. So it's gonna be a great facility. Well, today's a great day at Wenatchee and at Pangborn because the airport is really trying to get an upgrade so it can attract more jobs to the region. And the fact that this is such a historic facility, but not really able to accommodate all the business and general aviation traction that this community could have, to say nothing of the whole you know, valley region. So really important upgrade for the community, really great to work with the port and all the different interests here. It's proven that most economic development happens within 10 miles of an airport. So the more capacity we build at Pangborn, and here we're trying to build capacity not just for general aviation, but commercial aviation but they kind of go hand in hand. When you grow both of them together, it shows that the region has more business opportunities, more consumers that want to fly, and hopefully we'll be able to add, also add flights in the future. But today, we're here to talk about the business aviation side of it, and it means more jobs and possible uh, uh, businesses in the region.